It was actually quite straightforward the way that I came up with the idea. Un agente di polizia mi stava spiegando I was looking into a police officer I was explaining to me all the background and all the information on a crime scene c'erano colleghi che avevano And he said I was sure that there were some colleagues involved in this actual crime questo mi diede subito l'idea di raccontare la storia made me think that it might be interesting to tell this story had an image of a police officer walking towards a crime scene non come agente but not really in the role of a police officer but already knowing what had happened and the background to it and that's a scene of course that remains in the film when you see Francesco arriving on the scene of the crime um, right at the very beginning. And he'd also started out his career with certain expectations as to what a police officer should be. However, life made, meant that he had to face very different realities. So the film starts at the moment when this man is forced to make a choice and to engage in a moral compromise. And that really creates a crisis for his entire life. And of course, the role of the actors is vital. Their performance is what turns a scene into something really memorable, a real experience for the audience, which is always very important for me. The experience for the audience is crucial. Creating a memory like when you remember dreams, you recall powerful, striking images and they linger with you for years. So that's part of what cinema does. And it really reflects how well the actors have performed. So there's enormous talents in Italy. Also actors as well. Just think of the spectrum that we have of Italian actors. They're really top class. And Italian filmmaking should be helped and funded a lot more. There are really, really good directors. It's very complex to move beyond your own national cinema, particularly when there are certain roles that you tend to see being acted by American actors. For example, if the whole Gucci family is talking New Jersey English in a film, then it's hard to really get into that niche as well. And that, of course, is a responsibility of our producers too. That's because if our producers don't accept Italian acting talent, we really never have a way to break out of this. And I'm sorry if I'm taking advantage of this platform, but I wanted not to make this a trade union issue, but we've got 1,500 actors who've come together and we've got a communique which we'd like to read out to you. In Italy, people who work in the audiovisual sector have for months expected their contract at the national level to be renewed. The cast and the crew work without proper working rules which would protect them at their work. Actors in Italy have never had a proper collective contract establishing the rights and duties and minimum salaries, and that is because the producers' associations will not sit down and negotiate with them. And of course, we need to move ahead on this front to protect both the industry and the rights of the workers. And we can't continue to make audiovisual works on this front. So there's already been a strike, and the largest association of actors wanted to highlight this, highlighting the trade union actions that will be beginning now until the current situation changes to keep our imaginary world alive, to keep our imagination alive, our creative work alive. Thank you for giving me the time to read that to you. Now, I think that I am able on behalf of my country to carry Italian cinema onto the international arena. Now, if you come to Italy and pretend that it's Mexico or you pretend, I mean, it can be Italian. An Italian backdrop, but it's very important to make sure that we have the same rights as everybody else. 40% tax credit. But nonetheless, we're 
e la ritengo una mancanza di rispetto nei confronti Not del nostro really presented to enorme. you as actors and that's a, Scusate, there's a disrespect for our cinematic heritage which is really quite shocking i have to say and the outcome of that is that you don't see our films any longer giustamente voi avete un, un, un film che sta vincendo in tedesco so imagine there's a film that wins in germany i mean it wins prizes all around the world and it's produced by a major but it's produced in german with german actors and a german director quindi non ci si dica che il problema è la lingua so the problem's not language because the facts show that it's that's not the case the language is not the barrier it's not a linguistic issue i don't think it's particularly difficult at the moment there is money available there are people from vision from indiana there's tax credits there's all kinds of different sources of funding. Perhaps not to find the cash to make films at the moment. The serious problem lies elsewhere. It's getting people back into film theatres, particularly in Italy, but elsewhere as well. There was a real crisis for cinemas in the States last year. And also there's a crisis when it comes to art house film as well. And art house cinemas, there are good films around, not heaps and heaps of them, but there are good films about. But getting people back into film theatres, there's a problem because otherwise everything will collapse. You need to have an audience, but because if you don't have audiences, everything collapses, the whole house of cards. Finding the money for making films is not a problem. We'll keep on finding money for quite some time. The problem is really to have audience support for the, for in, for the industry. That's my point of view anyway. I'm not speaking now as an actor, I'm speaking as uh, a member of the audience. This film sends a very clear, important message, respect for life. Franco, the lead, is very proud of the fact that for more than 30 years of service he hasn't killed anybody as a police officer, but it has to be said, you shouldn't just look at what somebody has done, but also need to take into account the things that they have not done. I think that's a very important message. I don't know about American films, but certainly in films in general, People don't take it seriously when people are killed. It looks as if it's all just a game. It's as something people do as frivolously as if they were just drinking a coffee. And this is something that's transmitted by cinema, by Hollywood cinema, by American cinema. And I don't like that spirit. It has to be said that it's too easy to kill in real life. Think of families, for example, where there's domestic violence. Husbands kill their wives. Children kill their parents. Politicians start wars as if they were drinking a coffee. That's another thing I like about this film. Perhaps it's the only Italian film that has so many Chinese characters in it, so many Chinese faces. It's very nice to see that. When I was writing, I have to say, it's cinematic language that can create tension on any topic whatsoever. You could call it that there's a certain kind of fashion to show very graphic, over-the-top violence, which you see in many films now. And with Pier Francesco, right from the outset, when we first met and read the screenplay together, or rather we put the screenplay on the table and chatted to each other, and we said to each other, well, there's two ways we can do this. We can do this American style, or we can start to do something profoundly Italian. This idea of dedication 
presenza di drammaticità and drama e there's a dark side to it and yet at the same time there's also irony and there's a ability <laughs> with a click of the fingers and a good parmigiano or prosciutto dish that you can turn bad into good my film is the kind of way that i like to make cinema. I don't want to change society. I make films about an unjust society. I don't intend to change the world with a fictitious film. The film will, little by little, release theatrically in cross-various countries, France, quite soon, and then there'll be a theatrical release worldwide. So it's an attempt to respond to a difficulty that the market is currently grappling with. We want to raise the bar and present our cinema and the international arena in the same way as it was in the past. Thank you. Thank you to all of our guests, the last night of Amore.